protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Well, the foodbabe.com is on the crusade for healthy foods, and they have now published an Anresco laboratory study showing glyphosate in cereals. Henry Rowland joins us now to talk about his discoveries. Well, Henry, these are food products that everybody eats that's in probably most pantries in America, and these findings are pretty big, but most people probably aren't even aware of what a glyphosate is. So just briefly introduce our audience, what is a glyphosate? Why is it not something you want to ingest? Right, so glyphosate actually is the world's most widely used herbicide. Um, it's used on crops such as corn, soya, um, and other, other, other crops as well, such as oats. Um, it's sprayed a number of times a year on, uh, on crops across the United States and around the world. Um, there have actually been 18.9 billion kilograms of glyphosate herbicides under different names, but mostly under the name Roundup, which uh, many of your viewers will, will be aware of as a, as a Monsanto herbicide. Um, so so it's, it's, it's used everywhere, and it's probably one of the most ubiquitous chemicals, uh, the most widely found chemicals in our, in our environment. And tell me, obviously, there's so much of this used in the production of these plants and our food products. Why is it bad? Why is this a negative thing? Why do people need to know the negative impacts of glyphosate? Sure. So um, glyphosate uh, was introduced to the general public as a, uh, as a herbicide that was less toxic than other herbicides by the chemical industry. Um, However, sadly, um, they, they missed to inform the general public um, that it has many toxic effects, both at low levels and at high levels. Um, what, what, what actually happened was in, uh, that glyphosate was first used as a, um, as a pipe cleaner to clean out uh, different metals from inside uh, pipes. So, for example, zinc um, and cobalt, uh, minerals that are very important for our health. Um, now, the problem with that is also it could affect the nutrients that we are ingesting. Um, it was labeled back in 1985 by the um, Environmental Protection Agency in the U.S., as a class C carcinogen. Um, however, that mysteriously changed in 1991 into a class E carcinogen, uh, which meant that it was non-carcinogenic. It was only in 2015, so that's last year, um, that the World Health Organization actually uh, reclassified glyphosate and glyphosate-based herbicides as a probable carcinogen, which which obviously means that it probably is a cause of cancer in in, in humans and in in lab animals. And we've got cancer rates skyrocketing. Obviously, this is undeniable. I think to anybody who's living in reality. And the amazing thing is, just point one. PPB of glyphosate um, is considered dangerous. And what was found in this study is that we have thousands PPB. Uh, glyphosate in a lot of these daily products, um, cereals such as Cheerios, um, Special K, um, treats such as Ritz crackers and Oreos. So how does this get into all of these foods? Why do people need to know that this is in these foods at these astronomical rates? Sure. I mean, one of the, one of the reasons that we started the detox project, um, and we actually did this report with Food Democracy Now!, which is a big U.S. NGO, um, is that generally the public worldwide is not given information about what toxic chemicals are in their food or in their bodies. This is not something that is provided on labels, and we think it should be. Um, so we started studying, uh, studying these off-the-shelf products, and we concentrated on very popular products, as you said, from General Mills, from Kellogg's, from Nabisco, from PepsiCo, uh, they're, as you said, from Cheerios to, to Oreo cookies. Um, 
And we wanted to, to start with glyphosate because it's so widely used, but we're actually going to go beyond glyphosate and start testing for many, many toxic chemicals um, in these common uh, foods, and not just in the US, but globally. That's, that's our aim. Um, we, we really believe that uh, food companies should be uh, giving the public much more information on what toxic chemicals are in their products. Uh, most consumers uh, always talk about uh, GMOs and toxic chemicals. Now we're starting to find out about what GMOs are in our food, but we still have no knowledge about, the, about these toxic chemicals such as glyphosate. Um, and, and I hope this project starts, starts not only the conversation, but starts uh, to allow the public to find out all about these chemicals. Now, if I'm just a lay person in the public and none of this makes sense to me, this is all new to me, my first response is, well, why isn't the FDA doing something about this? We put our trust in these bureaucracies. If there was really something that bad, the FDA would be doing something about these glyphosates. What is your response to a person whose thought process goes down that pattern? Sure. Uh, so the, the EPA or the FDA sadly base all of their science on very, very old science. Um, which suggested that the dose of a, of a toxic chemical, meaning that the higher level of a toxic chemical, is the only one that is dangerous to human health. However, uh, in, the, in the early 2000s and late 1990s, um, many scientists started to discover that low levels of toxic chemicals, low levels of glyphosate, actually hack our hormones, which causes many diseases. Um, However, the FDA and the EPA have not caught up with the modern science, meaning that they're actually endangering the general public uh, across America, and many of the regulators elsewhere in the world also haven't caught up with modern science. So when they see these results, they often say, well, these are, these are low levels of these chemicals in the products that are, are sold. Um, and th my reply to that is always, the low levels of chemicals are often just as dangerous as high levels. Um, the FDA or, or the EPA do not do any testing of final food products off the shelf. There is, there is no testing for toxic chemicals of final food products. All they do is the occasional testing of raw materials such as corn or soya. However, there are many ingredients in all of these products, so they should be testing final food products to protect public health, which they're just simply not. Well, it'll be interesting to see if the FDA does address these glyphosates at all and start uh, doing testing for these things. And again, just to bring it back home for a second, you know, we all have seen cancer rates skyrocketing. Now, this could be something that we can directly correlate with that. But real quick, Henry, it is Christmas time here, and people are about to be feeding their families, cooking big meals for a lot of loved ones. What can people do to avoid uh, the foods that have glyphosate in them? Um, at the moment, the only advice I can give is to eat as much organic food as possible. Um, organic food is not completely free of toxic chemicals. Uh, from e even from our testing, a couple of the products were organic, um, but it's the safest way at the moment. Uh, what we'd like to do, uh, hopefully before next Christmas, is to uh, allow consumers in in America and globally to be a more aware of what toxic chemicals are in their food. That's through uh, toxic chemical certification, for example. Um, but for now, for, for this Christmas and New Year, I think just eat as, as, as much organic as you can. Now, what would you say to the website, real quick, to wrap things up, Snopes, who is basically debunking all of these findings? Sure. We, we were actually aware of um, how they got the information for, for this story. Uh, which was from Kevin Falter, uh, Dr. Kevin Falter, who has been widely linked with Monsanto and the chemical industry for many years. And he actually supplied them with much of the information for this misleading story that they, they wrote about, the, uh, about our study. Um, since then, actually, the source of this story, uh, Kevin Falter, has actually... Um, withdrawn his criticism because he co he was contacted by the lab that did our study and he's now aware that the the study was done absolutely correctly 
All right, Henry, we, Henry, well, thank you for your time and thank you for your research into this important topic. Thank you very much as well. In case you haven't heard, InfoWars has become the most influential media outlet in America. We're making freedom go viral. And now we are proud to announce a new weapon in the epic battle against the globalists. InfoWars Prime, where you can watch live high definition feeds of the Alex Jones Show, plus exclusive insider videos from the InfoWars crew and behind the scenes action. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash app and download today. InfoWars Prime is available right now for your iPhone or Android. You will have access to exclusive videos that you can't see anywhere else. And that means live coverage of events and breaking news on location as it happens. You can also take advantage of amazing deals from the InfoWars store that are only available for InfoWars Prime subscribers. That's InfoWars Prime at InfoWars.com forward slash app. And if you can hear my voice, you are the resistance.